Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be doing a look at the uh, NFL slate for this weekend. And this is partially for my own benefit, because I really haven't looked at all. And I usually look at least once before Thursday or Friday, and it's already Friday, I haven't even looked yet. Um, now again, I'm not going to obviously make my final bills until until Sunday you know, morning or early afternoon, but I do like to see what the slate could look like um, beforehand. So I'm going to go through, I guess, my overall projections and position by position. And then maybe, yeah, I think I will run a sim just to kind of see what it would uh, what it would look like if, in fact, I were entering my lineups now. Now, again, there are some questionable tags that, you know, I'm not going to obviously deal with, but I'm just going to go with the projections kind of as they are right now. And what you're looking at, for those of you that are not premium subscribers, this is like my sheet that has my, um, whatchamacallit, uh, my rankings of all the players. And you have the salary, fantasy points, points per dollar, and the sheet's value score, which is a good combination of upside, you know, raw points and point per dollar. Um, and I'm just rating it right now by sheet's value score. And then we're also going to look at it by points per dollar as well. Now, while, while that's happening you know, just to kind of save some time, I am going to upload these projections to SaberSim off screen. So to see what a build would look like, uh, both simmed, I guess, and unsimmed um, at this, I guess, relatively early juncture. But the first thing you'll notice is very, you know, interesting is, is the top two quarterbacks on the slate are topped by a bunch and they're playing against each other. Um, that being... Uh, Jaden Daniels and Kyler Murray. So it's going to be a decision to be made in cash uh, if you play cash. Although maybe it's not. I mean, you just play one or the other. I think these two are going to dominate the the ownership in cash. And I guess it's going to set up for some really, you know, really easy game stacks to play. Um, before, before I go down, I mean, let's look at a point per dollar. Let's see if it looks kind of the same. And even point per dollar, it's sort of the same. When you go to points per dollar, you get Justin Fields kind of stepping up. And so I think he's the third guy. Like if you don't want to, or if you can't get to Kyler or Jaden Daniels, which there's no reason you shouldn't be able to, then Justin Fields would be the next one. So if you're just thinking of like who the best plays are, that's the first thing I would notice is that Daniels and, and Kyler Murray – and they're in the same game. So that that could make for a very interesting uh game stack and very popular game stack, I would I would guess. Next thing I look is kind of the running backs. And and here it's you have a few more options than last week. Like last week, there was a whole bunch that kind of all that stood out over the others. But here, if we sort by uh running by a uh, you know, sheets value score. This is actually a pretty, you know, not a very concentrated group. You know, you have Mason Hall, Kyron Williams, and Bijan Robinson, but then these guys are really not too far behind in, in Najee Harris, Barkley, I mean, all the way down to Chuba Hubbard. So the first thing I guess I would notice is that all these guys look very similar, but someone like Saquon Barkley is the lowest owned, at least for now. Um, and and Kamara as well. So I think this is a good a good position where you could probably not necessarily not have to play the chalk because you're going to get a very similar value score and you'll be able to save on some ownership. So I think that's that's something that to, to to note. And again, likewise, let's do the same thing with points per dollar. So if we sort by points per dollar, and then again resort by position, uh, same type of guys kind of show up. Cam Akers will show up a little bit more, but it's still the same types of guys. You know, Mason, Najee Harris, Brian Robertson, Chuba Hurd, Kyron Williams, Bijan Robinson. So uh, uh, that's what we're looking at is the kind of running back. When it comes to uh, tight ends, that's again, well, uh, wide receiver, sorry, we'll resort by, again, Sheets value score, and then we'll go to wide receiver. And. Boy, it's going to be an interesting GPP slate because you don't have really big standouts. You know, Raji Rice, Rashi Rice, Nico Collins, and Deontay Johnson all look pretty good. But then 
Ayuk right behind, and then a whole bunch of guys. Look at all this. I mean, all these guys, as far as my rate, ratings go, are so close to one another. You'll be able to do some funny stuff with ownership, I think, on this slate. And then when you go to to sort by point per dollar, and then again, resort by... And again, these, these projections could change, but I don't think that much, unless some of these questionables come out. Um, then you get Deontay Johnson again, Rasheed Rice, Nico Collins, so the same types of guys... Then you also get a couple of cheapos that, and a couple of them are worth mentioning. So Jonathan Mingo, thirty three hundred, but the Michael Wilson at forty two hundred is worth mentioning because he's in that Arizona game, right? So, and then so there's McLaurin, Michael Williams. You know these guys are from that game, so it's going to make for an interesting, you know, pretty pretty. I was easy, but a pretty easy to play type of game stack, and then. We'll take a look again. We'll resort by sheets value score. And we'll go to tight ends, see what that looks like. Mm. All right. So Dallas Goddard actually does lay over the field with respect to sheets value score and Travis Kelsey. So these two guys actually do kind of stand out. It's the one position so far that we've actually had a standout situation. And then we sort by point per dollar. We'll get down to, um, once again, Goddard. So this Goddard's going to be an incredible play. Um, he's so far the biggest, I won't say lock, but him at tight end and those three quarterbacks or those two quarterbacks look like the easiest things to play. You know, they, they are the standouts at their positions. And then finally at, uh, at defense, again, take a look. Niners, Jets, Raiders would be the three top rated. No surprise. You know, they're against weak opponents. Uh, and then when you sort by point per dollar, same thing. Let's see if anybody you probably get one a couple of teams jump up. Yeah. So the Falcons show up. So you know the Falcons, Raiders, Jets, these are probably the three top options with respect to defenses. So when you're again, you're taking a quick look at everything. You got Jaden Daniels and um, Kyler Murray at the top, followed by Justin Fields. Running backs, you see like a whole bunch. Wide receivers, kind of a whole bunch. Dallas Goddard, standout tight end, and those three defensive teams. Let's see what that looks like in terms of of a of a build. So I ran all this, you know, five thousand lineups, and without even I, I didn't sim anything yet. But when you avoid simming, you're getting like Deontay Johnson, big exposure there. Jaden Daniels, Terry McLaurin, Brian Robinson, like everybody from this Washington game is kind of showing up. Okay. Um, this is like the top, well, actually, we're rating the top 20. You don't need the two top. When you go to like 150, Even still, I mean, Jaden Daniels, Terry McLaurin, this is going to be a very high-owned uh, hookup here. And then when we try to run contest sims, let's let's take a look uh, what that would look like. We'll do run one contest sim, then we'll kind of call it. Let's run the um, the uh, the Millie Maker, and we'll just run one contest sim here. And we'll see what that looks like. And that's going to take into account in consideration ownership, but I still think that it's probably going to jam a bunch of this, like this, this, this combination of Jaden Daniels, Terry McLaurin, and, and and Brian Robinson Jr. are going to look uh are going to look pretty sharp. I mean, pretty sharp. They're going to look really strong. And we're going to see what that looks like. So again, like I said. Jaden Daniels, clearly the best quarterback option. And then just Kyler Murray getting a little Justin Fields, but this is unsimmed. We'll look at the Sims in a second. And running backs, again, like it's pretty, eh, well, I shouldn't say that spread out. You do have some concentration in Najee Harris, Brian Robinson, Bijan, et cetera. But some of these might show up in the flex as well. So it's a little bit misleading. So let's see what this looks like. We ran the Sim and let's then, let's sort, let's do a contest Sim, MME. Risk adjusted ROI. And then we'll see what this looks like. So when we sim it out, 
just overall top owned guys. Again, Deontay Johnson, IU, look at the San Francisco guys, but this Brian Robinson continues to show up. Jaden Daniels, once again, Washington, Washington. As far as team stacks, as I mentioned, Washington, Pittsburgh with the Najee Harris. Um, so it looks as though Washington is the key, the key team, whether you want to play or fade or or whatever. And I'm trying to see if it's a late game. It is in the late window. So once again, this this Arizona spot uh is is a decision that's going to go, you know, govern the slate, I think. Um, I guess that's it. That's all I wanted to go over. A pretty quick look at the slate. And we'll update projections as news comes out. And then we'll build and and do some final thoughts on Sunday morning. That's it.